How's it going guys, Lead Cypher here. In this video we will attempt ridiculously easy from Volan Hub, which is a really fun machine, I enjoyed it a lot. This machine has a total of 130 points divided into 9 flags. The goal is to find all 9 flags and obtain root of course. Now without any further ado, let's get a start. As always we start with the discover to get the IP address of the machine. And it's running on 192.168.110. We proceed with mmap scan, dash ss for tcp soon scan, dash a for aggressive scan, dash b dash to scan all ports, and dash on for normal output to a file called mmap scan. And we have many ports open here on this machine. Let's start by logging into the FTP service because anonymous FTP login is allowed. A user is anonymous and no password is required. And here we have our first flag and a directory called the pop which is empty. Now let's store all found flags in one file. The second and the third flags can be obtained by nicketing to the server on port elite and 60,000 respectively. Now get it back to the mmap scan result we find port 9090 open. So let's check that out. And here's our fourth flag. Now let's run a derp scan to find any directories. The dash r option here for non recursive. And we have robots.txt and a passwords directory. Let's check this out. And here's our fifth flag. Viewing the page source for this password's HTML file will give us a name for a password for a certain user on the sub, with which we will use to SSH the sub. Now let's check the robots.txt file. This root shell.cgi file doesn't have anything in it. So let's check this tracer tool.cgi file. And it looks like this application does a trace route to a given IP address. Now let's try to inject a command. Awesome, we have a command injection. Now let's try to get a reverse shell with nickcat. At first when I was doing this machine I tried various port numbers to get a reverse shell on, but none of them worked for some reason, except for quad 4. If you want to know the reason please let me know in the comments down below. Anyway let's carry on. One thing to know here that if you want to get the contents of a file, uh, don't use the cat command because all what it does is displaying a cat drawing on the screen, so instead use head or tail commands. In the Etsy password file, we can see that we have three users, Summer, Morty, and Rick Sanchez. Now let's SSH using the Summer user and the password will be Winter that we found previously. Now from the MBAB scan we have port 22 for SSH, but it doesn't really let you SSH to the sub. So instead, on port pin 2 we have SSH properly open. So let's SSH to that port. Use the dash P option to specify the port number. And here's the sixth flag. Now let's check the home directory. Let's copy all the files in Morty home directory to our local machine with SCP or secure copy. Make sure to connect to the Penta tool port using dash uppercase P option. Here we have an image and a zip archive. A zip archive is a password protected. But if you run strings on the image, you can easily find the password.
and here's the seventh flag. This number here will be used as an argument for a binary that we will grab from Rec Home Directory. Upon navigating to Rec Home Directory, you'll find two directories. A directory that I totally fell for it. A directory that contains an 64-bit alpha binary. So let's grab it over. Upon running the binary, it will yell at you to use an argument. So let's use the number that we got previously. And here's our eighth flag. Now from here we will have to generate a word list to brute force the SH login for the user Rick Sanchez. Rick hints for us here that the valid password consists of one uppercase letter followed by one digit followed by one of the words in his old band's name. Google search Rick Sanchez band's name and it's called the flush card. Now let's write a Python script to generate this word list for us. We import the ASCII uppercase letters along with all digits from the string module. This is how the password will look like. The two words of the band name, a file to write to, and finally brute force of possible combinations. Great. Now let's use Hydra to brute force the SSH login for the user Rick Sanchez. Dash S for the port number, dash L for the username, dash uppercase P for the wordless file, dash uppercase V for verbose output, dash T for four threads. Now sit back until you get a hit. After a while, I got the password, which is p7cart. Awesome, now let's SSH to the server with the Rick Sanchez user. Rick can run all commands as root, so let's get a root shell. And here's the final flag. Hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough as much as I did and found value in it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and sorry I didn't upload any videos in a while because I was really busy with work but hopefully now I can start uploading videos weekly. So thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.